collection. Well, this morning was a perfect example. Um, it was my last deer hunt in Michigan for the year 2010. I was in my old family woods. It was a magnificent morning with the sun coming on and just flooding the woods. And here comes four deer and this pink fire off the sunrise was literally shimmering on everything. And as the deer walked, I could see the pink sunlight from the sunrise against its muscles and the way its body rolled. So I'm already in this ultra high. I'm, I'm inebriated on the spirit of the wild. That's why I call the TV show The Spirit of the Wild. And that deer eluded me, but eventually before I came in from the morning hunt, a big doe came by a ravine and I shot it right through the heart. And I remember, because it's so tense, you're reading it, you gotta wait for the perfect angle. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know. My God, there's the shot. So it's, it's so consuming, it's so exhilarating, it's so intense, it's so heart throbbing that right after I shot, I knew it was a perfect shot. And I remember, I literally, after all these years and all these animals I've hunted, I was like a kid on his first date. And I remember I leaned back against my oak tree and went, Oh my God, it was just a doe. Now in the parlance of big game hunting, you have to shoot does, it's not a big trophy stag, but to me it's not just a doe, it was a doe, man, it was a big Michigan swamp donkey. And I made a perfect shot after much difficulty, and I remember leaning up against that tree and remembering all my childhood romps with the bow and arrow with my dad and my first squirrel, and I remember them walking along the Rouge River outside of Detroit, shooting rats. And I'm telling you, I was, I was high, because I knew I put my heart and soul into killing that animal cleanly. My dogs are calling me right now. And there's an effervescence, a sense of gratification and fulfillment that you knew you did the best that you can be. And unlike an eagle that snags a lot of fish but don't bring them home and unlike the cougar who slashes open a few deer before it finally gets one or a lion that will rip open a zebra's haunch before it kills one I'm driven to kill that animal clean and now so there's a sense of great great spiritual gratification that you did it right and you did it the way you were taught to do it